We are exactly, we are exactly, uh, well, less than a week. Let me just start that. We are one week, <laughs> less than a week away. I can't get it together until the 2022 NFL draft. And I can't be more excited. All the smoke screens, the, the mock drafts, the uh, whatever it is this season. It's my favorite, but also when we get towards the end of it, I'm kind of happy. Like, I'm actually very happy that it's coming to an end because it just gets old. You, you, you sit here and, and you look through all the different things going on and you're just kind of wondering if some of these things are actually going to happen or, you know, what exactly is going to happen. But it all comes to full fruition next week. We finally get some answers. And you know what? I, I couldn't be more excited. I think, you know, there's a lot of NFL teams like the Las Vegas Raiders that have done and had really good off seasons. But it all comes down to today. Uh, you know, I, what is it? Uh, the uh, I want to say it's any given Sunday. Three minutes of the biggest battle of our professional lives all comes down to today. Whatever. The point is, we are in a spot where, with the Las Vegas Raiders specifically, they have done a lot of good things this offseason. Obviously, you talk about the trade for Devontae Adams. You talk about the Chandler Jones signing. Uh, you talk about the uh, Derek Carr extension, which shows me that this team is ready to win for an extended period of time. On the other hand, I still think there's thing, things to do, and I think that all can be addressed through the draft, which is the last step. They have to have a good draft, uh, the Las Vegas Raiders do, in order, in order to kind of button this whole thing up. And, you know, I think... The biggest needs for me kind of still remaining, obviously, are right tackle. I'm still, I just have question marks. You know, Brandon Parker can come in and, you know, or not Brandon Parker, Emmanuel Luminar. I think that's how you say his name. I never get these guys' names right. You know, Luminar, whoever. I think at the end of the day, I, I would be much more comfortable having Alex Leatherwood start at right guard and then bring in a right tackle. Um, you know, just pray guys like Abram Lucas fall, which, I mean, I doubt, but I mean, it could happen. I mean, we've stayed, seen stranger things. Uh, I mean, I haven't seen the new preview. You guys should check that out. I'm really excited for that, too. But I think. Uh, we have seen stranger things happen where these top level players really do fall for whatever reason. Uh, you know, what again, I think there's a lot that's going to go on, but I think this is the last step. Now, I think in this draft specifically, the Raiders need to come away with at least two contributors, whether that be offensive line and defensive tackle. I think out of everything else, it doesn't matter, you know, because at the end of the day, this is the draft. Every pick is 50-50, but I do think you do need to come away with two guys that immediately come in and start and, and contribute for your franchise. I do think that's what it comes down to because, again, I think overall the Raiders are in a position where pretty much every other position is taken for. Like, they're, you're really not that worried about what the Raiders are going to do. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, guys like Derek Carr, Devontae Adams, all those weapons, Darren Waller, Josh Jacobs, we can go for days on what the Raiders have. But... It means nothing. It means absolutely nothing if they do not find a way to button this whole thing up and find a way to get it done. Now, I do think, uh, you know, again, they've got to come away with a couple players here uh, that can help button up this thing because as it stands right now, could you make an argument that they're talented enough to be able to find a way to still win? Yes, but... I would much rather not leave it up to chance and not have to put all that pressure on guys like Derek Carr, on guys like Devontae Adams. Uh, you know, I know by little Nichols, all those guys on the inside, I got a lot of love and respect for him, but let's get a little bit of help. Let's see what we can do to really uh, kind of shore up this draft um, and, and shore up this team through the draft rather. So that way, as you head into the season, uh, things are looking good. So I think, again, the Raiders are in a position where they like – it's kind of a weird spot for the Raiders. Like they're in a position where they could just go best player available, but at the same time, they're also in a spot where they need a couple of positions, namely right tackle and also defensive line. So I, it's kind of weird, but overall, I think that they are in a position where they can, especially in the later rounds, go BPA, go with guys higher on their draft board, go, go with guys that are developmental pieces. You can get in and just kind of wait to see what they do. But overall, I think through the third and fourth round, they need to make sure that they are going uh, with those two needs, or at least in some way. And again, if they trade back up, we made a video about it yesterday. If they trade back up in the first, I don't care. But the first two picks, I think, need to uh, at least try to address those positions, or at least some fathom of that. First three picks, at least, need to be able to address that. And I think, you know, they're like I said, the Raiders are in a good spot. Uh, but at the end of the day, the draft is less than a week away. I'm so excited. Um, and this is what this is where you button it up. This is the last step. But let's know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truthfully awesome, and we love every single one of you. In the description down below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. So give us a like and a follow there. Also, remember to give us a listen and sub on iTunes. And finally, if you have anything else you'd like to cover, send us an email at thesportsbp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about the 2022 NFL Draft being the last step for the Las Vegas Raiders.